Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will talk about how you can create a correlation matrix like this. So in the previous video, if you have seen, I have talked about the linear regression and one of the very first thing that we do before we move ahead and create linear regression is to see how many variables are correlating well with the dependent variable. So our dependent variable was the price. We were using the Boston housing data set where we wanted to predict the price based on the different variables like the average age of the people living there, the you know crime rate and number of rooms per dwelling. And uh, this basically gives a good idea about uh, whether there is a positive or a negative correlation. So for example, price and crime rate and uh, as you can see the uh, crime rate is basically going up you know then what's the price is similarly over here in the dis you can see the correlation between the price and the dis like in this case so as you can see the dis is going up the price is also going up in case of age as, as the age is increasing and the correlation with the DIS is that it is decreasing but in case of uh, price over here it's bit negative but uh, not very much as you can see it's it's relatively straight line but going a little bit downwards at the end but as you can see uh, you have this price crime rate since they are core they are same like price over here and price over here that's why a positive correlation you will find in all of these variables which are there at the center. So it's pretty easy if, if you are uh, an experienced Tableau programmer or a user you can see that very easily I have created this but if you don't know then let me create it for you. So here I've created a new sheet and what I'm doing is I'm just adding a price and price what I need is within the analysis I don't want to aggregate these measures and as you can see now I get this information now what let's say I want to take age now here the age is coming similarly I will take age over here so I will keep on going crime rate and then the crime rate and uh, maybe you know in this the different variables that that are there Similarly, number of rooms, let's say, room, uh, let me do it again, and maybe tax, average tax in that locality, whether there is any correlation. And what I'll do is, since it has become a bit squeezed, I will change from standard width to fit width, and now my correlation matrix is ready similar to what I created over here. So this way very easily and intuitively you can decide which variable to take. So for example this uh, RM with the crime rate is not at all uh, correlating but in with the price you can see that as the price is increasing the number of rooms uh, is also increasing. So that makes sense that more number of rooms the, the more will be the price. and uh, with the crime lesser the crime higher the price so and uh, when the crime is higher price is lower so that that makes sense but in case of uh, uh, for example if I see price with this um, or the Indus you know it's pretty straightforward I mean I do not find any correlation uh, because when the price is high you will find the higher value as well as lower value uh, for index smaller values but when the index smaller values are becoming higher then there is no significant uh, effect on the price same is the case with tax as you can see over here so this way you can correlate the you can visualize the correlation matrix and see that your variables in action and that's, that's a chart which will work as an explanation that if you have chosen some variables, why you have chosen that. And uh, once you will show your user this chart, they will be pretty confident, okay, they are seeing correlation, whether they are going above 
together or going down together based on that they will make a good impact in your linear regression model similarly other other models because correlation is not only related to linear regression but other regression models as well